Hey guys, this is Anthony Morganti from AnthonyMorganti.com. This is episode 44 of Lightroom Quick Tips. In this episode, we're going to talk about favorite sources. This is a feature in Lightroom that a lot of people don't even know is there, but it can come in quite handy. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to show it to you, explain to you how to utilize it, and then we're going to talk about why you might want to use it. All right, there might be... A situation where you find that you're bouncing between several different folders or maybe a couple different collections all the time so you have maybe hundreds of collections or hundreds of folders in your Lightroom library but you seem to be going to the same three or four all the time well you could make them a favorite source in that way you could easier uh, more easily jump to them now let me show you how to do it first of all we're on this folder here and if you look below the image above the film strip you see there's this black bar here and you can see it says folder it has the name of the folder and 35 photos when selected if you just left click right on that this menu pops up now first of all you see some recent sources so you could jump around from your you know recent sources if you so choose right above that though is favorite sources and that's what we're going to talk about in this video you could put folders and or collections as a favorite source and you could jump between a folder and a collection and folders whatever above that you could see there's all photographs all sync photographs what that is is that is actually what is over at the very top here where it says catalog all this stuff here that is what is listed up there but as I mentioned we're interested in favorite sources so I'm in this folder of these birds and I want to make it a favorite source all I simply have to do is left click there then go down to add to favorites just like that okay so now I have this folder in as a favorite source now let's add another favorite source so I'm going to jump to a different folder uh, just to show you that was this folder okay so we're going to go to I don't know just any folder we'll go to Niowan, uh, Niowanda Park so we have this picture of the Niagara River I want to add this folder though to a favorite source so we're going to left click and we're going to go down to add to favorites all right I have two folders in as favorite sources you could add again a collection now you could add a couple more folders it doesn't matter why do you want to do this well let's say you're in the develop module and you're processing this image and you decide well I want to go to my other folder that I often go in well typically you would probably click on the library module then you'd go on the left panel you'd go to the folders you'd scroll to the folder you're looking for click on that well you never have to leave the develop module just left click down here and jump to the other folder now we're in that other folder it's on a different image but it's the same folder all right there's that image all right you could be in any module you could be in the print module right so we're printing we printed this image oh I want to print that image of the Niagara River okay well it's in my favorites so I'm just gonna to go to my favorite source jump to there bingo there it is I could print it so you never have to leave the module you're in so you could just you know jump from all your favorite sources again it could be a collection or a folder now when you're done with it you could just left click here and at the bottom it says remove from favorites and you would click right there and then it removes that folder from the favorites so you might be working a job and you have um, maybe uh, you know a bunch of images maybe in four different folders and or maybe four different collections or maybe two folders and two collections it doesn't matter and you find you're jumping between all these images while you're doing this job all these different sources well just put them as favorite sources and then you could eat more easily jump to them without leaving the module you're in and that's it that's it for episode 44 I hope that helps you out with your workflow and I'd like to thank everyone that watches my videos I truly do appreciate it that's it I'll talk to you guys soon